Not easy to run 100 meters in 9.68 seconds. Though win aided, it, not officially a record. Still, though, the fastest any human has ever gone. But at least sprinter Tyson Gay is healthy enough to even try. What if he wasn't? This week, in conjunction with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, with the support of Disney, and as part of our My Wish series, ESPN is turning sports wishes into reality for five kids battling serious illness. Today, a youngster from Long Island fought back from a bunch of medical setbacks to excel at a sport that's really tough. His wish brings him heart-stoppingly close to a world-class athlete and a moment of connection. Chris Connolly has more. Patrick Monroe is an exuberant nine-year-old boy who loves to ride horses. Good job. Hands together, good. Yankee. How does it feel to be on a horse like that? I'm like, hey, watch me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> horses offer Pat a respite from the illnesses that have always plagued him. As an infant, Pat was diagnosed with water on the brain. He had surgery to put tubing inside his body that would move the water to his abdomen. What's that like when your young boy has to have that kind of operation? It's like, is something going to be wrong with my son for the rest of his life? Is he going to be, you know, have uh, other issues? Already dealing with some loss of hearing, Pat faced tougher times when he was four years old. On a Christmas Eve night, the tube malfunctioned. He awoke on Christmas morning to a terrifying realization. He walked into the tree and he says, I can't see, you know. So that was a very hard situation for her when he told her, Mommy, I can't see. How did you tell him? He knew, he knew that, you know, he couldn't see. I told him, you know, Patrick, Mommy's gonna try. I said, we're gonna try and get your eyesight back. Yet ever since that day in 2002, Patrick Monroe has been blind. Do you think he knows what your face looks like? Probably, I, I don't know if he remembers what my face looks like. What's the hardest part about not being able to see? Is you can't do contact sports. Like play football, do wrestling, um, hockey, um, lacrosse. Once, he had enjoyed playing sports with his father, Kenny, a Long Island firefighter. But after a long illness, Pat's father died late in 2003. How do you tell a five-year-old that your father's not coming home anymore? You know, he's not going to be able to play with you anymore. It's like, or he's not going to be there to watch you do the things that you do. You know, go to school and go to father-son things or be in Boy Scouts. You know? Just months later, Pat discovered horses, and at the age of six, he started riding here at Palomine Equestrian for kids with disabilities. He loves the peace and freedom of his time on horseback. Good boy, Yankee. I wish every part, other part of his life would be like that. I wish he could do his homework on the horse because it's like he's so focused, like, I can do this. I like to ride the big ones, not the small ones. The big, big, giant, gigantic ones. <laughs> so for his wish, Pat wanted to meet his favorite athlete. He wanted to meet Smarty Jones, winner of the 2004 Kentucky Derby and the Preakness. He tells me he just wants to pet him. He said he'd be happy just petting him, petting his back, petting his, you know, the mane, petting his face. He would just be happy with just doing that. What do you think he'll feel like? Soft. Days later, Pat and his mother arrived by limo. They're greeted by farm owner Robert Clay. 
Smarty's looking forward to meeting you. Yes. Yeah. He, 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 has, he has a great life here, you know. Pat's brought to the barn where Smarty Jones lives. As the moment draws near, Pat can't hide his excitement. I love him. I love too, sweetie. Oh, this is so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Smarty Jones hat. May yeah. I wear this to school on, on, on Wednesday. Wednesday when you go back? Yeah. yeah, wear it. Yeah, you could do that. Suddenly, Smarty Jones emerges. Now, you hold my hand, Pat. Okay. We're going to walk up here and pat him, okay? Now, I'm going to bring you up to his shoulder. Here he is, right here. For once, this spirited boy falls silent as he strokes the coat of Smarty Jones. He got a couple of girlfriends, this guy? Yeah, he's got a, more than a couple. He's got about 100 girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> he got 100 girlfriends. He's a, he, uh, he's a pretty lucky, he's a pretty lucky guy. Who was? If you win a Kentucky Derby, you get a lot of girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> then it's time to let Smarty Jones outside to run fast and free. He's going to let him go now. You can hear him. He'll probably take off. There we go. There we go. Pat listens for the exhilarating sound of his favorite horse in full gallop. do too is run. Then Pat gets a special gift. A lock of Smarty's mane. I braided it for you to take home with you. Yeah. Is that okay? Yes. Thank you, Smarty. Right. Pat is given more keepsakes. And I'm still sleep with this guy in the bed tonight. Look at that. <laughs> then he gets to meet some of Smarty Jones's babies. I'll kiss the camera. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, Pat is at Churchill Downs, where Smarty Jones first captured the heart of a nation, and Patrick's too. He focuses his mind in concentration, listening, so he will know for himself the sound racehorses make on the world's most famous track. He will take these memories, the sounds, the souvenirs, the silky mane of Smarty Jones, back to Long Island with him. There, they will join the ribbons he's won as a rider. Testaments to a nine-year-old who is tall in the saddle and with grace and a grin, is somehow finding his own way. Chris, thanks a lot. This fall, Pat will start the fourth grade at his local school where he is a popular student. He dreams of someday competing in the Paralympics. You can read more about Pat and his wish at ESPN.com.